Welcome to Matt Fryer Golf. We're here near water. Wowzers. If this one goes in, the dream could be alive, folks. The dream could be alive. I've been saying all week, I'm feeling hole in one. This is the hole to do it on. Could be the greatest finish in YouTube history. You find us in the trees. Please be the right yardage. Please be. We find ourselves back in the trees. The challenge is simple. You get 30 shots to get round nine holes of a golf course. It's not been going very well for me in the last challenges, but I've taken matters into my own hands. I have a cheat golf ball today. A golf ball that is not legal. We are going to be illegally taking on the 30 shot challenge to see if the polar golf ball, the ultra straight golf ball, can help us get it done. So we come down to the glorious Woodall Spa Golf Resort, which is down on the east coast of England. It's home to the hardest golf course in England, which is the Hotchkin, which we haven't in the red from if you haven't seen that yet. Make sure you check that one out. But this is the Bracken course. This is a little bit tamer. It's a par 36, the front nine. It's 3,040 yards long. So not the longest golf course. A lot of the par fours are around about 370 yards. Par fives under that 500 mark or thereabouts and the par threes um, around about 150. So it's a little bit more generous. So hopefully we can try and get further than we have been doing of late. I think my last attempt, if you've not seen it, we played with Marco Penge who qualified for the Open. He has the reigning scores twice now He's had a putt for 31 on the ninth green, which is just unbelievable. I think I bowed out on the seventh hole that, uh, that game. My best thus far is completing eight holes. But today, we've got an illegal golf ball. We're cheating using this. Hopefully, nine holes. Puh. We're going to probably get to the 13th. 13th! My realistic prediction is that I actually do tee off on nine today. I think I'm going to get my best ever score on this challenge using this illegal ball. It feels terrible with a wedge and a putter, but it's meant to go really straight. So I'll just aim at every flag and should probably not need to chip or putt really. Let's see what we've got. Our first hole, we're playing off the yellows today. It's 378 yards long. Some bunkers down the left hand side. They actually only uh, come into play up to 230 yards. So we should, should comfortably get by those ones. So. Fingers crossed, comment down below, how far are we going? Don't scrub ahead in the video, don't be, don't be that person. Let's see what we've got, the straight flight golf ball. Promises so much, yet delivers so little. That's the worst flight, that's almost like it's got no spin and it's literally, I'm in the bunkers. That golf ball is a piece of beep. I apps like, look where that's come from. Like just a high middle toe. Normally you hit that shot, like see ya. That would have been 300 yards. That bunker there, it starts, starts at 219. Just look at that, 219 yards. It pitched 30 yards before it. Um, I take back the ninth tee optimism. I reckon I'm gonna have my worst challenge today now because of this illegal terrible golf ball. So after the greatest drive I've ever hit, I've now faced with 140 yards. Um, it sat really nicely out of this bunker, so nine iron, straight at the middle of the green. Let's see how this terrible golf ball works again. Oh, I've caught it heavy. Caught it a little bit heavy. That was me, not the ball that time, but shouldn't have been in there in the first place. 2.19 to get to it. 2.30 to cover. That's literally a four iron hit well. Not a driver hit well, apparently. If you are uh, buying these golf balls in the hope that they'll solve all your golfing problems, I think we need to start looking elsewhere. This is where I was expecting my actual drive to be here. 65 to the middle of the green. But no, this is where my second is. 65 to that middle. Try and land it 60, I've got a 60 degree out. Try and feel what this rock feels like off the club face. What 
a bad pitch. Go straight when you pitch it with a 60 degree, but if you're slicing a 60 degree wedge, you've probably got a few issues. Not bad, I aimed straight at the flag, so it's obviously broken this ball. It's pitch two yards right, left to right in it. This for a four. Take us to 26 shots on the next tee would be nice. It'd be very nice. I wonder if it makes every putt straight. Straightens out your putts, they don't break now. So you just aim straight at the hole. I think we'll allow for a tiny bit of break. Oh, I've not hit it hard enough. <sighs> That's annoying. Right, that's five shots had, 25 remaining. I don't think it's gonna be a good one with this golf ball. I had so much hope, but that first tee shot has filled me with fear. So these golf balls, the Polara golf balls, I bought these from Amazon. Can't remember the price off the top of my head, we'll just splash it up there now. They're quite expensive for what they are, and basically, what they say is because of their unique dimple structure, the drag throughout the air will limit or minimize the curvature, so you should hit it straight. So because of this, it isn't legal to use with the RNA or USGA competitions. So, you know, if you're playing in your local comp on a Saturday, your club comp, you couldn't use one of these golf balls. I have done a review on them a couple of years ago, I think it was, and probably you will have seen Rick Shields' review. Um, the, they're not fantastic. They don't straighten it out, everyone. They do generally go a little bit straighter, but you lose a lot of your other performance aspects with this golf ball. That being said, we're on a 390 yard par four. So if I hit a good one, I should, you know, theoretically have about 90 yards in. We wait and see. It's a tight looking one, this one. No bunkers down there. It's just a narrow fairway. Nothing the polar. Polar I can't handle. It's literally peak of its flight and dove. That's why they go so straight. They fall out the sky. It's literally carried like 220 again. I mean, it has split the middle of the fairway, but so much distance has been lost there. I mean, look at that. You ain't getting more central than that, Jeff. I tell you, you're not. My predictions of having only 90 yards in. <laughs> jokes i've got 140 yards to the middle i think it pitched about 60 back here and ran even though the ground's you know a little bit wet from the downpour last night just literally gives it this as a flight <laughs> um one three eight i'm gonna go nine iron with the polara theoretically i can aim dead straight at this flag and it should go in as long as i get the right distance Oh, get on the flag. Oh, as you do, it's gone 170 yards. We've airmailed the green. Goes further with a nine iron than it does with a driver. Got a flyer from the, uh, you know, from the nice fairway. Great golf ball. Nat! Um, not ideal. Back of the green, 157. We're pretty much about 160. 165 here, 167. It's pitched here and actually spun back with a flyer. Very, very odd golf ball. Doing a lot of crazy, crazy nonsense right now. But a fairly generous chip. chip. We've got some green to work with, which is good, and it's not lying too bad in this sort of lush stuff. Just pop it up, tap it in. Bob's your uncle. Oh, just dig the leading edge and chunk it. Oh dear, Matthew. Right, work to be done. The ultimate straight golf ball. Can we, can we find the cup? Break. No, dead straight. It's the golf ball, you see. Oh, crikey, crikey, Mikey. And there we go, another five. Don't feel like I've done much wrong yet and I've had 10 shots. 20 left, only seven holes to go. Comment down below, where are we getting to, folks? Where aren't we getting to? Our third hole is 315 yards. Normally with my driver, I'd be thinking, hey, hey, knocking you on. There's a bunker at about 180 here that I'm actually fearful that I won't get my driver over now. I'll probably hit it straight into it, because it'll, you know, be straight. But we're just gonna have to take our chances, see if the flight will actually work. I mean, it, it, it does do what it says. It does go pretty straight. It just doesn't go anywhere, it just dips. 
dips and dives. Bogey bogey is not your friend in the 30 shot challenge. There we go, dives. About, you know, 250 off the tee, did it really well. Right in line with the green. It's just terrible, really is terrible. I hope people aren't wasting the money on these things. Found the old Polara. 65 to the middle, another cracking drive. 250 yards, ding. Um, struck well as well, so you know, I shouldn't expect that maybe, you know, 260. We've got a 60 degree, it's sat nice. We've got a tree in front of me here. So I've just got to go a little bit upstairs. It looks like there's a little bit of a backstop behind the flag, which we know the Polara has crazy spin. So we'll probably rip it back. Let's, uh, in fact, we'll probably just dunk it. I'll just aim straight at the flag and we'll be okay. Be good. Get in. Oh, it went very close to going in. Oh, <laughs> Polara, I love you. Right, let's go and tap in for three. Get back to oh, 13 shots. If this one goes in, the dream could be alive, folks. The dream could be alive. Little rascal putt here now. Up the hill, a tad right to left. Looked like it was very close. It sort of came in here, that, and oh, just gave it a little. Didn't get the final one though, on the whole. Right, up the hill, right to left. One ball outside, firm. Polara, you can redeem yourself. Redeem yourself, Polara. This will be a double hand or an aim point. You are taking the absolute squirrel out of me. That couldn't have gone in at any less pace and it hasn't broke. It just goes too straight, this golf ball. It's the problem. Four shots had, 14 in total, 16 to go. We move on to the fourth. I feel like that could be the one that bites me, not the bogey bogey start. That one. Our fourth hole here on the bracken is 400. And 93 yards of par five. A gentle, gentle little dog leg right to left. Some bunkers down the left hand side that we're going to try and avoid. If I am straight down the middle, I'll hit it there. Polara, straight ball. Guaranteed 230 yards of distance off the tee. We could really do with an eagle here, or at worst, birdie, because if I'm to complete this, I need to be six under. Currently two over. Not the score we want, folks. But don't worry, Polara is here to save the day or ruin your golfing expectations. There's the dip. Slightly, slightly toey like if that was a normal golf ball, that would have been a rocket. Tiny, tiny bit toey draw. I mean, that's like 300, no issues. Just covered 220 there. Well, this is a treat of a hole. It's sort of a I thought the green was pretty much straight in front of us, but it's tucked away around the corner of the trees. I've got 210 yards from where we are. So that drive's not gone very, very far, some would say. About 260. Not ideal. Not ideal. I've got to go over the corner of the trees here and hope it gets up. I'm thinking I'm going to hit five iron, but that nine iron's got me confused. The driver's got me confused because it's like just dives out of the sky do you get a flyer with it and like hit i'm gonna hit six iron just to be safe and then i can chip and put at least just to know how this golf ball's gonna react with a with like a normal iron now oh it's come out horrific out of that rough sit sit well it might just be on the side slope of the water but we'll have a pitch up which is okay just more poor contact, but I think the poor contact was down to the fact that I didn't trust anything that was about to happen. Then I was questioning how the golf ball would fly the whole time, which isn't ideal really for when you're playing golf. Welcome to Matt Fryer Golf. We're here near water. Right, the Polara has stayed safe, which is good to know. We've got 30 yards up to the front up onto a raised green, fly it all the way. They are a little bit softer today, so we can get it stopping pretty quickly. Really could do with an up and down here. Really could do with an up and down. It's downwind coming out of the rough, which doesn't help, but hey, straight flight golf ball. All our problems are solved. Not. That is nipped so well. 
sit down. Crikey, that's gone. I literally brushed that off the top. It was always going to be hard to stop it, but it ran like Linford Christie. This is a proper sneaky green. Hello, hello. Wowzers, look at the swalage. Swalage a trois, some would call this. <clears throat> it pitched pretty much in line with the flag from over there, so it's had a good couple of feet of, of swing on it, which you can sort of see anyway. So nothing crazy here. Nestle it up, tap it in run away I was hoping for a birdie slash eagle let's just make a safe par hello 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 birdie center of the cup wave to the adoring fans thank you polara terrible golf ball made it work this time right 18 shots have been taken that means i've got 12 left we move on to the fifth, a par three. One shot will get us right in the mix. Let's, come on, let's go do it, come on. Our fifth hole here on the Bracken Golf Course, 160 yards to the flag of par three, slightly downhill. There is a brook in front and it is a little bit downwind, so I'm gonna go nine iron. I just can't, like eight iron, I just feel like it's just gonna go. It seems to be like no spin with a driver, no spin with an iron, but with the iron you get the extra launch, so you get those longer flights. So this nine iron should theoretically do the job we could do with a one or a two here to get this challenge going, baby. Travel, travel and break a little left. It's a good number, it's pretty much pin high and I did catch it about three inches fat. Look at the size of that carpet we have taken literally about yeah two inches so i think my theory is right there's very little spin but add the launch in and you get distance we've got a putt that is up the hill perfectly pin high should have just aimed at the flag taking wind into account they just go straight where you aim them these things so tiny bit of right to left in this we could really do with this going downtown for another b dog A three's just not going to cut it, Matthew. A three's just not going to cut it. 21 strokes have been had. We're moving on to the six. Four holes to go. Nine shots. That's an average of 2.25 for all you statisticians out there. Some might say a little bit too far. Too big of a reach. But I say nay to you naysayers. You're probably right though. Six hole, par five, 499 yards. Only got nine shots to go. I was hoping I'd be saying this on the eighth tee. I'm two holes back from where I am. I think we can all agree my expectations have nosedived very much like the flight of this golf ball. But you know, we've got a bunker out there at 240. I'm just gonna smash it and pray. It's not gonna take anything less than driver on a par five. Let's give it an almighty heave ho. Make a birdie, make an eagle. We're okay. Oh. oh, it hit the tree and kicked it a little bit left. Little push. It's actually shot it past the bunker. So with the, uh, the use of nature, we've cheated the system there, folks. Eight shots to go. Three and a half holes to go. Not looking good. I've got 263 yards to go. It's like a 230, I mean, it pitched at the bottom of the tree, so at most we're getting 10 more yards out of that, but it just doesn't go anywhere. I have to smell to forward now. Let's see the dip on this rascal. Just have to just hope and pray that this, this gets a flighted dipper and bounces up onto the green. Forward. Go well, my friend, go well. <laughs> little bit heavy that one chaps i've tried to hit that so hard because i'm like that far back and i need to get up onto the green just goes nowhere that thing leaves you so much work to do you find us in the trees after that terrible forward really interesting i've got like a straight gap here that's about 
three yards wide or what I would do every single day with a normal golf ball because I'm 154 to the back I'd try and hit like a cutty seven iron but will it actually happen with this golf ball we will soon find out nope dead straight dead straight absolutely pure <sighs> into the hay six shots to go i feel really hard done by in this challenge because like i've not actually hit many bad golf shots really hit my driver really well which is generally the key to success get it in the short stuff give yourself some putts which i've done palaver not the palara palaver have you tried the new palava golf ball yeah don't do anything for your game it says it does won't do rubbish rubbish we find ourselves back in the trees we're with our natural habitat today wouldn't think it with a straight flight golf ball would you never leave the fairway or the green <laughs> nat got a little pitch up now bit of bank in front of me is this the right club i was thinking bump and run originally bump a little yeah keep it low first first little land near the near the green a couple of bumps and it's up and on them oh i've hit it too hard oh he's had a nightmare tree's trying to have me off there whatever you do don't buy these golf balls just leads to sheer disappointment. Right, we find ourselves on the other side of the green now. This, I bet this is a familiar feeling for quite a lot of the viewers out there from one side to t'other. <sighs> Hopefully you're not doing it with a Polara, Polava golf ball. It's a relatively simple pitch now, just up onto the green. Wind's pushing it towards the hole. Let's just go chipping. Nice one of them, chip it in. And then I shot to be fair, just a little bit further than I wanted to with my landing spot, maybe two or three feet more, but hey ho. Oh, crikey, Mikey. Crikey, we've had one, two, three, four, five shots on this hole. This is for six, which means I'll have three left on this next par three. A deflating six, I mean. The fat forward might have something to do with it, but I'm hanging all the blame on the Polara golf ball. Nothing to do with me. Three shots to go. We need a 1-1 one, one finish. 1-1-1 one, one, one finish. Could be the greatest finish in YouTube history. I'm, 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 I'm saying it is. Could be, who knows? Seventh hole, I feel like it's our final hole, but who knows, we could make two, we could make one. It's a par three, 125 yards to the flag. Bunker in front of the flag, bunker left of the flag. Little swale behind the flag for a little zip town funk. Not gonna happen with the Polara though, cause you get no spin. So we're just gonna have to dunk it. We're just gonna have to aim dead at the flag and dunk it in the hole. For all my uh, American viewers who have got this far in the video, just hit me up with a, uh, what's the best Dunkin' Donut? We're coming over soon. Comment section, what should we order, Dunkin'? Let me know. I've only ever been once and got a black coffee. Wowzers. Adventurous. Been saying all week, whilst we've been down here filming, I'm gonna get a hole in one and I think, I think this is gonna be it. Let's go, 50 degree wedge, come on. A bloody good line. Please be the right yardage. Please be the right yardage. Please be. Oh my god! That looks so close to going in. I don't know how close it is. It looks like it's literally a ball away. I don't think this is the last hole of the video, folks. Right then, just a putter's length away nearly, maybe what two three feet i thought literally that the golf ball was here then it looked like it was resting on the edge it's actually pitched up and spun back a little bit which if you recall i said couldn't happen on the tee but let's tap this in hole in one on eight a little birdie a little birdie came to tell me a story that we're teeing off on eight it's not our best by any means it's not my prediction what i said at the start but 
if I hold it on eight, it'll be my best ever. Don't think it's gonna happen though. Let's get to it. Funky Cole Medina. The eighth hole here is 288 yards. There is a brook running across the fairway at about 180. So there's another brook in front of the green at about 260. As we know, our friend, the Palava, doesn't seem to carry as far as normal. So this would normally be like, just carry the ball onto the green. All I'm hoping for here, obviously this is my last shot. I need to just bounce it, I think, up on, which I don't think we're gonna have much chance of, but we'll just wail on one. Maybe we get enough launch. I'll peg it that tiny bit higher. Might give it a little bit more. Peg it a bit higher. Get it up a little bit higher. We might just get the palaver to do some magic. Nope, it's dipped. So I mean, it's a great drive. It's 240 down the middle, another fairway here. But with that speed and that connection, I would have been expecting, you know, maybe to carry the green. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the 30 shot challenge with an illegal golf ball. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in another video very soon.